Hi guys, I'm Jess Prezik and I wanted to show you a little bit about Pirate Ship and how you can use it for your business. So I'm going to share my screen. Um, I'm gonna step you through everything and then after we're done with that, then I will share about all the products that I use and where you can find them. I'll send the links in the comments after I share this video. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask me after I post the video. Um, so I'm going to turn around and share my screen. Give me just a minute here. This takes a second. I apologize. Okay, so you're going to go to pirateship.com. It takes just a minute to create a login. I'm going to quick go to ship and we're going to click rates because I don't want you to see my customer's information. So you are able to select any type of packaging. You can buy your own packaging, um, bubble mailers, boxes, or you can pick the priority mail flat rate ships. So first you can just get the rate. I'm going to use my um, hometown zip code. And just for kicks, we're gonna kick, click padded envelope. So, I made a cheat sheet um, and wrote the sizes on them so I didn't have to measure each time. So we're going to just pretend like I'm shipping a three pack of 20 watt bulbs. So this is four by eight. And um, I have a mail scale, digital mail scale. I'm sure there's probably a better name for it. Um, so I should have done this ahead of time, but I'm just going to uh, stick this in here, weigh it, 1.7 ounces, um, 1.7, so I'm going to click get quote, oops, you have to put the right measurements in there. So this is really cool. It would cost $3.80 to mail this from the post office if I were to go to the post office right now. Cost $2.74 here. Now, if you were to send this from your workstation, you would know that it would cost $8 to direct ship. Um, for a lot of us right now, um, during this pandemic, we are um, not doing a lot of in-person deliveries. And some people, because of the situation, um, we're just not able to do that. So you can click ship now. Um, you can see right here that it says ship from. Um, I'm able to click, you know, it defaults to what I put when I did, uh, when I signed up for my account. Um, I'm just going to see if it will let me ship to myself, just for the sake of, um, Maybe I'll ship it to myself, or maybe I'll ship it to work. You know, in case you guys want to come see me at the hospital. <clears throat> so I think you can put the email address in, and it will, I don't know 100% for sure on this, it will send them the tracking information. Um, you don't have to put a phone number in. You don't have to put the company address or the company information in. I think that might just be helpful for the postal service to connect with them. So down here, you click get rates. I just did that to show you the different pricing. Um, this one shows it's the cheapest, but you can also see the other options. You know, if you want to get it there faster and such. Um, it's nice that it shows you that this is the, the deepest discount. This one shows you, like, it, I like that it shows you that this will get it there faster, that it's $100 insured, um, you know, all these different prices. So I'm not going to actually click to buy the label. You can insert a payment detail. Um, you can email the recipients. That's why you would put the email address in there. You can click that you want it to ship today at the time of me um, creating this video or if you want it to ship on, you know, Monday. Obviously, it's not really going to ship on Sunday. So 
it's nice to know that you can put the payment detail in. Um, I don't really need it to show up on the label. So you can, with this down here where it says your default payment account, I think, and I probably need to read into this more. I apologize that I don't have this information. You can prepay um, X amount of dollars. So you can have like $20 on your pirate ship account for shipping for say the month. Um, so I currently have $0. So basically I just pay as I go. But if you want to give yourself a budget for the month, that's what how you could do it. And then you click buy label. So I'm going to hop back over to my desktop and show you a label that I did previously that I have grayed out. So when you click buy label, this is what it looks like. I have grayed out my address and then down here where um, my customer's information was. And I just click this and print it to my regular printer. Um, and then what it looks like, I'm gonna go back over to pirate ship, go back to the ship. Please just see how it says ready to ship. I've dropped this off. I'm hopeful that you're not going to stalk my customer. So um, it's ready to ship. I've dropped it off. And this is nice to see. I'm going to move myself down here. Um, it's nice to see that I bought the label. I have printed it. It's ready to ship. I have dropped it off at the post office. Um, you can schedule a pickup, which is nice. And then you can see that it's in transit. I'm going to go show you another one. And we're going to going to hide her information here. And this is nice that it was shipped, it was in transit and it was delivered. And this is nice to see. Um, so this one was a little bit of a heavier project, heavier item. And I like to see that every time I log in, I can click the tracking and I can track it every time. Uh, so that's really nice. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen right now and I'm going to come back on here. So this is what it looks like when you print it off. I just printed off an extra one to show you. So this is what it looks like, you know, if you were to put the, the bulbs in there. Um, I, I just have one of these um, paper cutters. I don't, I bought this so long ago, I don't know how much they cost. I'm sure you could get it on Amazon right now. Um, and so I just cut it to size. I'm sure, um, Scissors work just fine. Tape it to the packaging. This is quite old, my digital scale. Uh, a kitchen scale will work just fine. You just need to know pounds and ounces. So that's what I use to weigh it. I have a variety of bubble mailers. Um, I have purple and white. So these ones work the, um, I'm sorry. I, I cheated and wrote the size on them, um, so they help me when I'm doing this. Um, these 4x10, this one obviously I'm using. Um, this fits a bar. It's a little tight, but it fits in there. I mean, you have to kind of massage it, but it fits in there quite well. Um, 15 and 20 watt bulbs fit in here. I have 6x10. Um, I totally cheated to get the size and I went back in my Amazon orders to figure out the size rather than measure on my own. There are priority mail flatware envelopes bubble mailers. You have to go to um, USPS.com and order them and they will, they're free and they come to your mailbox with whenever you mail. I know what I just forgot. I'm going to share my screen again and show you um, you can click schedule pickup so for this label that I created oh I canceled a, a pickup for one that I did today I'm going to request a pickup right here click USPS I'm going to move this up here so it defaults to your main location and you just type in how many of each box you have, the weight. Um, so 
you might not be able to see this. So see how this says um, first class? So you just type in one, <coughs> one down here. And um, I believe this one weighed <coughs> like 3.7 ounces. So you're gonna just estimate it to the closest pound. So you're just gonna put in like one pound request pickup. I'm not gonna click this because I'm actually not requesting the pickup. I did drop this off at the post office today and a few other things to drop off that I wanted to ensure we're gonna get out today rather than go out on Monday. So that's really handy. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen again. So not only are you saving some money, you're doing it from your house, you don't have to go out in public. Um, I can link some bubble mailers in the comments when I post this video. It's just really handy. You don't need a fancy printer. Um, you don't need a, a label maker. You can just do this on a black and white printer. You can save money if you want to do like monthly whiff boxes. You don't even have to do them monthly. Like if some people just do them quarterly, some people just do them whenever they think about it, like on a whim. Uh, if you have customers that maybe are a couple of hours away and it might be cheaper for you to, like if you do a special every once in a while, but the way you run the special, you have to use host credits and such. And so you can't necessarily direct ship that way. So you need to mail them or get them to them on your own versus direct ship through through the company. So, you know, or maybe if you offer light bulbs for life or you send the customer light bulbs just on your own accord. So um, please reach out if you have any questions. Like I said, I'm somewhat new to this and I'm learning as I go, but the website seems to be pretty intuitive and I think it's gonna work out pretty well, especially during these times, but I think I'm gonna continue using it. So. Reach out if you have any questions. I'll be glad to help. Take care. Have a good day.